Sick of getting ghosted? These tips should help. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be going over how to text a woman like a master. Before we get started on these tips though, you should definitely make sure to check out our free online dating app quiz. So that's going to be linked above me and in the description down below. You should take the quiz because it's going to pair you with your perfect online dating site or app. It's fun, it's quick, it's easy, and it's totally free. So make sure to click the link, go ahead and take the quiz, and then come on back here and comment below what your results are because we would love to know. Also, while you're at it, do not forget to check out our deals page because we here at Online for Love are always getting all sorts of awesome deals for different dating sites and dating apps. And why spend more money if you don't have to? So make sure to click the link that's popping up above or in the description down below to go to our deals page, see what deals we have on offer and possibly save yourself some money. So texting a woman, are you ever not sure what to say? Are you confused as to why you're getting ghosted or wondering how to keep a conversation going or going in the way that you want it to go? Hopefully these can help. So first off, before I dive into the tips, just keep in mind that women usually respond very well to words. Words are super powerful. There are enough romance novels to prove this right. Now, in order to be successful with texting, a woman doesn't mean you have to write, you know, a romance novel of your own or these epic poems or something like that. But, you know, keep the principle in mind that your words have a lot of power and she really is going to kind of hang on to what you say. So let's dive into the tips. The first tip is about your opening message. Your opening message is very important. So if you're texting a woman for the very first time, either you've met her on an online dating app or site, or even in person and you just got her number, the first message you send is vital. This is one of your first impressions when you're talking to her. So you don't want to say something that is so lazy to the point it's just going to be ignored like i'm almost guaranteeing that this, this will be ignored if you just say hey that's one of the worst things you can do for the most part you might get a reaction especially if you've met in real life maybe but hey it's like way too, way too low effort it's like you can't even put an effort to text something, then why should she put in the effort to respond? The next thing to avoid in your opening message is anything overly sexual or too forward. In best case scenario, it could just be unwanted and she might not like it. Worst case, it could be seen as harassment. Okay, so then what should you say? That moves on to our next tip, which is to be genuine. So keep in mind that the person that you're talking to is a person. She's a woman, you might be intimidated, you might want her to like you. End of the day, she's still a human being just like you, and you should be aiming to make a connection with her. So talk to her like you would in real life, any new person that you just met. Talk to her like you, you would, you know, any human. Don't put her on a pedestal, don't be afraid, etc. But don't treat her, you know, beneath you either. You want to establish a solid human connection here. Some of the best conversation starters that you can have revolve around things that you guys have in common, something that you've noticed about her. It would be good to comment, you know, if you're just meeting off of a dating app, let's say, you could comment something about a picture that she has, maybe a place that you've been to, maybe something that she wrote in her bio, and you could, you know, rip off of that. You want to show your interest, ask a question probably, just say something that starts a conversation. And the best thing you can really do is to be genuinely interested. If you like her, then you know showing that in some way, shape, or form is going to go a long way. Usually the more genuine you are, the better your results. If you're enjoying these tips so far, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. So it really helps out our channel when you give us a thumbs up because that shows YouTube that people are enjoying our videos. And so YouTube pushes our videos out for more people to see. So we would really appreciate your thumbs up and your subscriptions. Let's go ahead and talk about the next point, which is to keep your conversation upbeat and low-key. So unless you've known each other for a long time or you've been talking a lot and a lot and you know it, it makes more sense to talk about deeper things, try not to dive into anything too controversial or upsetting. It's just going to be sort of a bit much to start out with. Maybe don't talk about complicated political matters, things that are very sad in the world. Keep it upbeat, keep it light, keep it fun. That's going to make them feeling happy and they'll associate your name with happiness. Like, oh, talking to this person puts me in a good mood. Don't treat them like a therapist. Don't try to be their therapist. Definitely try not to bring up exes too, by the way. If things get too serious or heavy during texting, they might be compelled to just stop. The next tip we have is to ask questions and rip off the answers. So you're interested in her, right? You should be acting like it. So ask her questions and then in her responses, find out ways that you can, you know, try to get to know her better. You know, you don't want to make it an interview where you're just firing question after question. Where do you see yourself in five years? How are you a good employee? Something like that. But you want to, you know, prove that you're interested and, and be interested. 
be curious about her life, about who she is, try to find out more in a way that's genuine. Now there doesn't always have to be questions involved. You can just have a conversation about something, saying different points without always having to have a question because it might seem a bit, a bit much if you always do that. So basically avoid messages like haha yeah, <laughs> unless you actually want to end the conversation, then go ahead. A simple way that you can upgrade your questions or your banter is to say instead of something like do you like your new job? That's a yes or no question. You could say, what do you like about your new job? So that leaves it open for a bigger response for more to talk about. Question of the day. I want to hear from you. Leave your best conversation slash texting tip in the comments down below. What do you have for me to read, for others to read based on your experience? What do you think? Leave it in the comments down below. We'd love to talk to you and have a conversation. The fifth tip we have to you is to create playful and flirtatious banter. So you want to have fun with this. You know, start some jokes, maybe get some inside jokes, maybe a little bit of playful teasing. Um, you don't always have to be so serious. It's it's best when you show off a little bit of your goofy side, show that you can take things in a lighter way. And injecting humor in your conversations is going to make everything way more pleasurable. If the conversation is too dry and not funny, it's too serious, then, you know, you or her might get bored. And make sure to keep it flirty as well, because if you keep all flirting out of it, um, it might just come off like too much of a friend conversation or even, you know, worst scenario, a, a business like interview type of thing. So you want to keep it flirty, keep showing your interest and in some little compliments or things like that, or maybe slight little teases. Keep it flirty, upbeat, funny. Definitely try to get some inside jokes. Sixth tip we have for you is to read the room. So if you are waiting for her to respond, don't send 10 messages in the meantime because maybe she's busy or maybe she's just not interested in the moment or whatever the reason, if she's not responding, get that she's either going to take a little bit longer to respond to you or she just won't. And you sending 10 messages is not going to help anything. Also, if you are in the middle of a serious conversation, maybe now's not the best time to turn overly sexual. Also, speaking of reading the room, this is one of the most important tips I can give you. Do not send unsolicited pictures of you know what, ever. This will never be a good move for you, like ever. Women have been shouting this from the rooftops for so long, yet this still happens. Do not send unsolicited pictures. It will not end well for you. I'm telling you, it's not a good look. Don't do it. <laughs> Enough said. The seventh key tip we have for you is to know when to respond. So I did mention earlier already that, you know, if she hasn't replied to you in a while, it's best to not send tons of messages. This can really come off as a meaty, like you are unable to understand this interaction, like it's just a bit much. So there are many reasons why she might be taking a while to respond. Maybe she just needs some time something's happening in life or whatever, just give it time. Either she'll respond to you or not. You don't need to bombard her with messages. This is almost a surefire way of making sure that she doesn't come back. You also don't always need to respond to her back in that exact same second. People are going about their days, they're busy, you know, working. So don't feel like you have to respond right away. And this actually might come off as a little bit too much if you do that. Um, at the same time, don't take this too seriously. I mean, if you like to respond right away and you're available to do so, then you don't have to play any games about it. But don't feel pressured like you have to respond super quickly. Live your life and, you know, it'll actually work better for you if you are showing that you have other stuff to do, that she's not the only thing in your life. Um, you know, it's it works out well if you're like, oh, I was working for a few hours, sorry, or just responding whenever you have time. Don't stop your day to have conversations that could be a hindrance to your life. So basically just focus on living your best life and texting really comes Second. And if it's been a while and she hasn't responded, then days and a week go by, move on, seriously. It's not worth your time to wait around for someone who's not going to respond to you. Maybe they're not interested anymore, maybe whatever's happening with them, it's not on you. So unfortunately, you just have to move on. Just know that someone out there will be willing to text you in a regular way. Now, if you want to text people from different dating apps or dating sites, and you want to save some money on those, do not forget to check out our deals page because we here at Online for Love are always getting all sorts of awesome deals for different dating sites and dating apps and why spend more money if you don't have to. So make sure to check out our deals page that's going to be linked above me and in the description down below so that you can check out all the deals we have on offer and possibly save yourself some money. Now the eighth key tip we have for you when it comes to texting, how to text like a pro, is actually to aim to take things past text. You want to try to meet her in person. Texting is great and helpful and needed, but don't substitute texting or phone calls or meeting in person. So texting is just sort of something you do in between meeting up, actually. So you want to sort of have a goal in mind and put the momentum towards that. You want to meet up, you want to talk at a coffee shop, at a bar, outside of text. 
Also, if you spend too long in a texting phase, you just text and text all the time and never have any plans to actually meet up, she might just move on to someone who is ready to meet up already. The ninth key tip is to try to leave her with a smile. So you want to make sure things are lighthearted, fun, and you want her to feel good. Because if she's feeling good about herself, about you, and every time that she texts you, you're making her laugh, you're making her feel good on the inside, you making you know her feel like you are interested, like she has value, like the things that she has to say are interesting, like she is beautiful, etc. Then she's gonna start to associate you with that good feeling. So every time you talk to her, you should try to aim to leave her smiling and in a good mood. And the tenth key tip we have for you is also very important. You want to not take things too personally. So when you're texting people and if they become not interested in you, if you get ghosted, if they move on, whatever, it's vital to not take it too personally. Especially if you've only talked over text and you haven't even met up in real life. Rejection is a part of dating, whether it's online dating or real life dating, a mix of both. So just know that it's going to happen to you with someone, even if you really like them, it's unfortunate, it's sad. but. You have to take it in stride. Don't become bitter. Just know it's part of life. You're surely going to reject people as well. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. Who knows what their reasoning is, but take it in stride, accept it, move on to the next. But that's going to wrap up this video on the top tips and how to text a woman like a pro. I hope this was helpful to you. Do not forget to check out our online dating app quiz, which is linked above me and in the description down below so that you can be paired with your perfect online dating site or dating app. Also, do not forget to check out our deals page, also linked above me and in the description so that you can see what deals that we have on offer and possibly save yourself some money on a host of different dating sites and dating apps. Also, now that you're just about done with this video, make sure to check out some of our other ones popping up on either side of me. Also, do not forget about answering the question of the day. What are some of your top texting tips? Leave them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. That's going to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it. Hopefully, we'll see you here again on All Over Love. Thanks. Bye.